Hey guys, here we are with another video. Uh, following up with the video I done yesterday on the uh, brakes and rotors I got uh, in the mail from uh, uh, the uh, order I placed probably back beginning of the week. The uh, power stop brakes and rotors I ordered. Uh, I'm just here to one of my projects we're doing, uh, which I own a uh, construction company also, and uh, I'm here at one of my job sites just fixing to leave here and go to the uh, mechanic shop and have him put the uh, brakes and rotors on. Uh, I'm going to be videoing that whole process, and uh, as you can see, I'm here at the job site. I'll kind of show you what this house looks like, but uh, we're pretty much wrapped up on all the exterior and uh doing some things on the inside like electrical and plumbing and hvac and things like that and uh uh should get this house wrapped up uh probably next uh two to three months if everything works out it's a pretty good size house so uh working on that uh like i said we're going to run over here to the mechanic shop and i'll see you uh then and i'll have a few more updates uh when i get there and show you the process of putting those uh brakes on so i'll see you then all right, guys, just leave the job site here. I'm going to go. You can see it's a pretty nice little view. This road will all be blacktop when we get done, but uh, I'm going to head out here and run over to the mechanic shop real quick and get these brakes put on and rotors, and uh, hopefully it will take care of the issue. That those That passenger side rotor is a mess. It just looks rough. Driver side's not so bad, but I figured, hey, while we're into it, might as well uh, replace both front brakes and rotors and uh, run down the road here real quick. It's not too far from the job site here. It's only about a couple a couple miles away. But uh, what do you all use on your uh, trucks as far as uh, brakes and rotors? And also, I'm having a lot of people ask me about... Uh, diesel fuel treatments and things like that what do you all recommend as far as uh fuel treatments go uh you know what are you using in the winter time versus the summertime things like that uh if you can just comment down below and uh let me know what you all have been using and uh see what the best product is for that so i'll see you just here in a few at the mechanic shop all right guys we're getting close to the shop here uh like I said, it's not too far away from where I was at. Figured we would uh, also go down here and I'll show you just a uh, lay of the land where I live at. You know, here's a, another house, new construction home. This is the area I live here in uh, central Kentucky. So all you Westerners and city folk out there that say all oh, Kentucky's just a hillbilly town and they all live in the mountains and sticks uh, as you can see a lot of high-end homes in the area and uh, nice rolling hills this right here is all corn and soybean where I'm at here uh, most of the land crop land around here is corn and soybean we have a lot of uh, cattle farms also uh, a lot of uh, dairy farms in this county also and as you can see I mean nice little area but uh, I'm fixing to pull in here at the mechanic shop and I'll uh, start the video again as soon as we start work on the brakes and rotors I'll see you in a bit all right guys here we are changing these brakes and rotors out Steve's getting started as you can see they're shot yeah, definitely in the middle to middle. I would say whoever had it, because this truck, we've only had it about two months. I would say he shot whenever we got it. Yeah. Well, the original pads. Yeah. It don't look like it's ever been apart. The factories were junk anyway, from everything I've heard. Yeah. Get a heavy duty slotted rotor, it cools off quicker. Right. Heat build up kills them. Everything I've heard, the factory ones are just pretty much junk. Everybody goes to these power stops from what I've heard. Go over and show you the other side. The driver's side is not as bad as that side though. No. I mean the brake pad's getting down there but the rotor's not. It looks like the rotor over there is like shaved metal shavings. I'm going 
gonna rotate these tires too while we got it. Here's the product. Power stop. Let's go back over there. Need some transmission work though. Steve's the guy to do it. Get her done. Here's what your pad look like. No material left on yeah. it. Yeah. So just metal to metal. That's probably not going to work too good. No. The other side's not, wore down too. Not dependable and not safe. No. Not when you're stopping a uh, heavy truck like a diesel. 2500. Yeah. Big old truck you're stopping, which is metal. Has that rotor been off before, you think? Well, it's not been replaced. I think they might have put a hub assembly bearing. Oh, they could have. That nut's been off. The inside looks good. Yeah. But the outside, the outside's a little rough. Now, as thick as that is, well, it's a little thinner on this side than that side. Right. But still, if you, t if you turned it down to take all that wear off of there, right. you'd be way too thin. Right. And it would cause it to... Yeah, because uh, the outside's thicker or thinner than the, outside, than the inside yeah. is. Yeah, if you took it down to where it's smooth here, it's eating in here. Right. You'd have to cut it all the way across. Right. And it'd be a lot thinner. Yeah. Now it wouldn't, it wouldn't be safe. No, no. It'd heat up too quick and warp. Yeah. Oh, let's get a new one to pick up on there. Let's get the new one. All 50 pounds of it. Yeah. <laughs> you should have seen the UPS driver trying to carry that thing up the hill. <laughs> These new rotors. They're the same thickness. Well, they're the same thickness, but they're side specific, like this one for the passenger side. Right. The way the slots are. Right. The heat dissipation better. Right. And also it helps throw the brake dust out too. Out these slots, they say uh, yeah. keep, the dust. keep the dust down. Blows it out yeah. to let it accumulate. Right. I didn't feel like spending the money for some extra. Uh, well, you pay it. I mean, uh, two hundred dollars just to fix this one side. Yeah, you're better off spending the extra money to do both sides. That's what I'm saying. Something better. And you got better stopping power now anyway. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you won't hear it grinding and yeah, all that stuff. Right, guys we're gonna let him finish this side up and i'll take another video once the pads are on the finished product having a little difficulty getting this slide pin slide pin out here which we'll take care of that when we get it out we'll oil it up real good and clean it up put the new rubber on it, it should hmm. moisture yeah rust does the same thing in cars like it does to guns. Yeah. Politicians and rust, two main worst <laughs> enemies. Yeah. It's on there pretty good, ain't it? Yep. Yeah. Well, I'll polish that up and put a little grease on it. You know there? If you organize, you never find anything. As you can see, this side's a lot better. It should be a lot easier to switch out than the passenger side. I'm also going to rotate the tires too. Like I said, we want to take these front ones, put them in the back, vice versa. Well, we got it up. Might as well do it. That's the life of your tires. If you don't do that, I would I would try to do it every other oil change anyway. Yeah, 
keep that from sticking. Yeah. Get that rust off of it and help keep it from rusting too. Yeah. Well, it's got two flat spots machined into it. Right. One on each side. That's supposed to kind of let moisture seep in and out. Right. But it didn't do its job. It will now. Put new water for the boots on it. Get over here on the side. It was supposed to have slid in and out like that one did. Right. But it was stuck. Now. I'd say that's probably what the main problem was. There we go. Much better. Good now. Good. Much more meat on these new ones than what was on the old one. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's compare those. Yeah, a lot of different. Old versus new. Oh yeah, there's nothing compared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure all these are the same. Sometimes there'll be an inner and an outer. Right. But all these are the same, same. inside and outside. Yeah, before I was driving, I just hate hitting the brakes because you could feel it just like grinding and. Yeah. You yeah. your teeth. And yeah, I was like, ah. Oh. I hope the wheel don't fall off. Yeah. That's why I was like, yep, yeah, believe we need to do that. Now I gotta finish compressing these pistons all the way in. Take up the clearance for the new pad. Get the big clamp have, out. A lot of guys have fancy tools to do this with. I use the old trusty C clamp. Yeah. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's more universal. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of those tools and things like that are just are, uh, vehicle specific or things oh, yeah, like that. Yeah. You can use this on any make, model, <laughs> yeah. whatever you want. Yeah, I used to enjoy buying new tools all the time. Now it gets to where you, every time you work on a new car, you got to buy something new just to work on it. Yeah. It cuts into your profit margin. It eats away yeah. your profit, absolutely. Yeah. Now, I mean, I can understand getting a tool if you got to use it like on every vehicle. Well, that's different. Yeah. Buying one vehicle to do, do one car you might do every 10 years is kind of yeah. Oh, useless. I bought tools before. Pay three or dollars for one tool to do one job on a specific transmission yeah. and not use it. Like you said, yeah, you can't. four years or maybe never use it again. But in order to do that one job, you, you had to have it. it. Yeah. I like your ringtone on your phone. That's great. My wife hates it. <laughs> She says it's childish. <laughs> I didn't tell her if it's, if it's on silence, you wouldn't be able to hear you, so. I like chipmunks. Yeah. Now all that's doing is just pushing the fluid back out. Is that what it's doing? Well, the piston's in here come out when you hit your brake pedal right. and squeeze the pads together. Yeah. There's all that material was gone so the pistons had came out way all further the way. than what they should have. Right. So I'm pushing them back into zero. To get it back to a right. factory setting. Yeah. Should go on there a little better now. Oh, absolutely. Windy day up today, I'll tell you that. Somebody's needing to get a hold of you. <laughs> Some people 
Yeah. Hey, don't you love it? You get people call you and they're like, if you don't answer the first time, leave me a voicemail and I'll call you back and they just keep calling, keep calling. That's probably a reason why I ain't picking up the phone. Yep. Hands dirty working with silicone. Yeah. To... You can't take your gloves on and off every time the phone rings. No. Okay. Let's get that side. We're not going to put the wheel back on yet because we're going to rotate, rotate the tire. Rotate so Right. Right. That back That's pretty much the finished product, guys. Transfer everything to the side. All new. Everything on there, brake pads, rotors, and I'll take a short video of the other side when it's complete also. Getting these tires rotated now. I said we're just getting these tires rotated now. <laughs> yeah. A whole lot easier down there closer to the ground than it's all jacked up, ain't it? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to try to pick it and it. I'm thinking about getting a little size bigger tire, like whenever these wore out, you know, get a little wider. A little wider. A little beefier. Yeah. But these were on it, so uh, might as well use them. Yeah, these rims will hold a lot bigger tire. Oh, yeah. Driver's side's doing now. fluid there on the ground that's from uh, whoever had it before me they whenever the brakes get low you know worn out like that whenever he's pushing the calipers back in it's pushing all the extra brake fluid that someone put in there out so what we'll do we'll bleed the brakes pump them a few times and uh, check the fluid level once we get the uh wheels and tires rotated here as soon as everything gets done i'll uh, have a video here during the drive and see how it feels pop the hood pump the brakes now yeah. yeah pump them up and get all get a full pedal on it if you start it up try backing up right now and hit the brakes he wouldn't do stop. nothing would it Pretty good, yep. Feels good. Okay. I'll back it out and I'll let you check it too. Yeah. Get it started here and we'll back it up. Everything clear on that other side? Good to back up. Let him get in here and test the brakes also and uh, double check everything before we drive off. And if you got any questions or anything, just comment down below and uh, we'll, uh, I'll try to get the answers for you. And I'll, uh, like you see, there they are. Brakes, rotors. Everything there is good to go. Rotated the tires. And everything so comment down below if you got any questions and i'll see you on the next video